today, we have a beautiful statement from St. John, which is extraordinary. He says, sin is lawlessness. As you and I live as in sold flesh, as human beings, we live concretely in a world together with other people, where we are subject to laws because we live in community, and each person has his real intrinsic dignity given by God himself. Therefore, when we see on the news some people acting lawlessly, we understand they are the devils. Sin comes from the devil. God is absolutely righteous and always punishes for sins. There's no need to fret when we see evil, for sin is the deliberate breaking of the law, which a man well knows. This is why it is important to have laws that kind of really punish for sin, to help people understand the wickedness they have done and the need to actually change for their own good. This is something every spiritual master understands. Nobody gets away with anything, and it helps us to conform to God's holy law. There's a great line in the Psalms that says, You spurn all who swerve from your statutes. Their cunning is in vain. And the word spurn means to reject with disdain, which means the living God in one sense rejects you when you are disobedient to his law. For when we sin with our free will, it's a slight or an offense against God's goodness, who gave us free will to do good and not evil. One author puts it this way, when we sin, especially any mortal sins, we undo the work of Christ. Therefore, when we understand this in a more complete sense, we realize why God instituted the sacraments. First, we all need salvation, and we can lose our salvation. And this is why the church takes sin seriously, but in the same regard, understands serious sin can be forgiven. There's another great line in the Psalms where it mentions, He forgave their sins, but punished all their offenses. This is constantly seen throughout sacred scripture, and God does not punish because he dislikes us, or wants to put us to shame, or to prove he's stronger than his creature, but rather that we may die to sin and live to righteousness like Christ, and to ultimately die in his friendship, to die in a state of grace. This is why he bore our sins in his own body on the cross to transform us by his mercy and grace, to become truly good and holy in the real world.